Okay, this is going to be an interesting video. I got hit the other day by somebody, and you can see what's happened. Now, there's two reasons for this video. One, I'm just testing out the new S9 Plus Samsung, so that's one way. That's what the video's like, and the other one is repairing this. You can see what's happened. I've had this before, and it was due to someone who uh, wasn't very good at uh, driving. <clears throat> Probably under the influence, but anyway. So, I can't remember how I did this, you know, I really don't know. So I'm going to pull that out. So I've undone those two clips, as you can see. Clip in there, and what these do, these little side, straight side bits, they fit here. And this can only go in one way. So you've got to remember, it goes in like that, and it'll only go in one way. There's... there's alignments one there and one here so if you look on here there you go they can only go in one way okay but I'm gonna figure out now how I'm gonna do this so yeah how it comes apart Right, so let me have a figure out and I shall get back to you in a sec. Okay, so the idea is you unclip the clips. You take out the mechanism. I'm just going to show you what we're going to have to do then. We're going to have to fix this first. And then to put it all back together again, you put the clips back in. Which is going to take some doing. And then you've got to, once this is back in, which should be in here like so, which I've fixed it, then you've got to line this back up with the mirror, like so, hold on, I'm going to show you why it's out, because once I put it back in, it's, it's, it's going to stay, I'm afraid, let's have a look, let's line it up, so there we go, I think that's right, so once it's lined up like so, you can see that, so you put it back in, so when it's fixed, then these clips push it home and they automatically lock into place okay so that's what we're going to do today so now I've got to fix this back into there so we'll undo these again and I'm going to use a soldier iron to plastic weld it okay so I'll show you that in a sec when I get it all nice and ready to go okay it's really tricky to do because we've got to you've got to hot weld that or Heat gun it to this. I've just noticed now, right behind this mirror. It looks so I don't know if you can see that. There's a screw. Just there, and there's one on the other side. So I'm gonna undo that first. So see what that does. Oh, that's not good. Hey, oh boy, come. Okay. Okay, change your plan again. Right behind the mirror, if you can see this, I've just undone this clip. You can just get to it, and there's another one underneath, exactly the same as this principle. So it's going to make life a lot easier. So, after pulling forward, it's a little bit awkward, and that's it, I'm back. And that should release the glass. Yes. And all the spiders. You see that? Yeah. Right. So, now this is free. I can undo this. And they've got security locks on. And now I will... If you can see that, it's got the... Sorry. Because these, I don't know much of it. I don't know. If, someone said 120 quid, but I don't know if, that, if that's just the outer casing. So I'll give this a clean, and then uh, I'll show you how I'm repairing it. Okay, just done in the mirror. So brown to the right, black to the left. Okay, get all these spiders out of here. Okay, sorry, yeah. 
brown to the my right, yeah, and black. Right, okay, so that's off. Okay, you're gonna need a star driver. This is the only one I got. Well, I've lost the other bit, so this is mine. safe I'll pop him out so we'll keep him now we've got to repair him so we can do front and back so I'm going to um, glue but I'm going to uh, hot weld it with a um, solder line the other thing that you can do hold on is on the back of the drive motor if you look carefully another three stars and they hold in I think they just hold these in place, which are just two brackets. But I'll do that now, I'll take them apart. Give me a second. Change the star bit. Smaller one. Bear with me. Let's take that one out first. Oh, it's smaller than that. Hold on. Might be too small. Ah, it's moving. That's okay. Right, yeah, so you can actually take them out individually, so be careful you don't want to lose these. Sorry, can you see that? Just be careful. Okay. And the other two. Keep these safe. Just a long brass screw. Don't worry, I'll show you to put it all back together again. And it can only go back one way if you look at it, because you've got two screws at the top, one at the bottom. So, And when you fit these and weld these back into place, it should be fine. One. Two. Okay. Let him dangle. <coughs> Give it to you spiders They're all over the shop. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna weld these, I'll show you that as well. Okay, I've just come inside the camper because it's warmer. I've got the heater going, that's what you need the noise. And this is my, I'm gonna use flathead. This is my gas soldier iron. I've used this quite a bit now. Little stand on it. And then we need a lighter. Okay, it's made by, it says Go Systems. I can't remember where I got it from. Microtech pen torch. If I find it, I'll put it in the description. Um, I'll put it in the description down below, so you can have a look. So up. I think that's lit. As you can tell. On full. Ah, there we go. Okay, just let that get hot now for a bit. Well, I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, while it's heating up, I've just pushed these back into place. They, they're going to fit correctly if they've come out and they're not shattered to pieces, so they'll have to fit back properly. And they can only go one way, like you've got the half a moon missing, so the half a moon's going to be missing there, isn't it? Okay, so I'll put these back in. There we go. 
Oops, sorry. There we go. So as soon as it gets hot enough, I will weld here. We'll soon have a look if it's not not quite yet. Soldering's melted on the end. Flip that off. So I'll try around the back first. You can see that. So what you do just if you push both pieces of plastic together, not you don't want to go through, you just want to touch them. So it's like it's like it's called plastic welding. So if you can see that, just bring them over each other. And then just gently. So you you're actually welding part to part, okay? I'll keep doing this now. And then I'll turn it over and I'll do the other side. Exactly the same. Just bring it in. Doesn't matter which one. I mean, you know, I'm going to put it on a flat surface anyway, but. So I'm just going to bring the welds in. See that? And I want to build it up. This is what I'll do. Just be careful, there's no rush. Okay, so I'll carry on with that for a minute. If you can see that. Okay, so I've welded that one. I've done this one this side. Okay, all the way around. I'm just finishing off this one now here to there. And then I will flip it over and do exactly the same this side, if you can see that. Okay. Okay, it just ran out of gas, so I just refilled it. Or you can use an electric one, it doesn't matter which one you use. Let's let that heat up again. Also, what you can do when you're um, plastic welding, if you can see this little, can you see that there, that little bit of a lip? It's here running along there, this one. You can take some of that and then that's uh, looking a lot better now. And you can build it up, okay? So I'll just carry on with this. Okay. That's alright. Pretty solid. Okay. Front and back and along the side. I know it looks a little bit messy, but it's going to save you a lot of money and it's pretty solid. Okay. So, right, so now for refitting. Okay, I just made a bit of a boob. You've got to make sure this wire goes through the hole before you put it all together. So the only way to do it, I've just took the screws out, you can take this back casing off carefully and then you can prise this off just carefully like so. I'm going to have to stop for a minute because it's pouring down. And then <clears throat> put him through the hole first like so. And then we'll we'll fit this. Okay. I'm going to stop for a second because it's absolutely pouring down. Okay, it stopped raining. <clears throat> so when you take these three screws out, this back panel then comes off. And then you can thread it through the hole. And remember which way it goes, it only goes one way around, which is the D shape. So push him home, like so, and then put the panel back on, clip him home. Like that. And then what we do, we push all the wires back in, and now we have to line them up, which is pretty straightforward really. See this bit here, this square? Can you see that? 
bit of a square. That's where the wires go. And then this can only go on when you line them up like that. One way. So two at the bottom, one at the top. And then pop the screws back in. Like so. Get them in home, lined up. If you've done it right, it should line up perfect when you've done it. There's no other way of doing it, to be honest with you. Okay. Get me trusty little hand tool. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack them. Just so they're just tight, okay? Just, that's it. Okay. And then we've got to wire this one back up too. And then we've got to wire this one back up and that one back up. So, once you clean all the spiders off, you want to put, can you see this? So put the clips back in. But they have to go in that groove. Okay, so push them and they'll clip in. Okay. That's tight. Alright. And then excuse them up. Sorry, hands in the way. They should just line up, you can't really go wrong. And there you go, pushed home, okay? So it just pushes on. Same with this one. Okay, push the wire, feed them back through a little bit, the wires. Put the clips back in, so I'll show you that. Okay, push them back in. All right, now and there, it's done. They were in. It's that simple. I presume it's that simple. Yeah, we're in. Yeah. So, let's give it a test. Let's give it a test. That's the big one. And then, the little one. No. So I've not got him in right. Well, he's not pushed in, so I'll have another look. Okay, it is working. See him? So... That's it. Right, so I'll put the glass back on. There we go. Not clipped home properly. Okay, so... Great, thanks for watching. Um, that saved me a few bob. Hopefully anybody else who's been watching the video. Uh, if you want to leave any comments down below, uh, that's great. Thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. All the best.